Hello and welcome to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where a few weeks ago now, we did a piece on using lens venting to reduce fogging while wearing a mask. I wrapped up that lesson saying that we would soon be testing some anti-fog products in an upcoming video. Well, it has been weeks now because well, kind of like the lens venting piece and most projects here at the training center, things just didn't turn out quite the way that I had planned. I had a whiteboard session, a piece on how I carefully designed the tests. I pushed the envelope and I tried a really complicated fridge to face test where the lenses seemed to end up being like a frosted beer mug. Even after a minute and a half, every pair was still a foggy mess. I tried going from inside to outside while wearing the glasses. Inside it was about 70 degrees, while outside it was over 90 with 60% humidity. And you know what happened? Nothing. Of course, I also tried it the other way around. I left the glasses outside in that 90 plus degrees, brought them inside, and again, nothing. In frustration, I sat everything aside for a day, came back, and I did a test wearing a mask. I carefully refreshed all the products, and I ran the test again. Let's pick things up there since I did manage to get some results worth sharing. With that said, we are using a basic single vision stock Seiko polycarbonate lens with their nice middle of the road Surpass AR coating. All of the right lenses in each frame are a minus 150 sphere and all are in identical Aristar 7650 frames. Okay, here in no particular order are the products that we are testing. We have got our Clarity Defog It Anti-Fog product. We have got our Centro Stile Gel Strong No Fog 10 product. We have got our OptiFog, our cloth. We are testing one of the frames with just this. And thanks to social media, we are going to test the shaving cream theory. And last but not least, we have our no fog cloth. All right, let's do one more round of that. I just refreshed every single one of these products. Um, I have to turn the air conditioning off out here in the studio when I'm recording, otherwise you'd have all kinds of background noise. It is currently about 76 degrees in here. Uh, mildly humid, not over the top, but a little bit. Let's run through this one more time. My mask in place. We've got F. I think you can see that. It's it's not bad. It's 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 about maybe, you know, two thirds of the way clear. And then you get this residual up in this upper nasal corner. But it clears very quickly. And it, I almost want to say like it's, it, it wants to be clear. It wants to do the job. F, not too bad. Let's see, we got D here. You can see that little wave of, of breath go across. It kind of fogs as I breathe out or speak, clears as I breathe in. It's not bad, really. Just a normal conversation, normal breathing in and out, not forcing anything. That one is pretty darned clear. Uh, we've got E. Let's see what E does for us. 
Fogging as I exhale, clearing as I inhale. Getting a pretty good strong wave as I exhale. It seems like more of the lens wants to fog, but it does clear relatively quickly. I don't know that it would perform quite as well as the last two. So we got C here. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's good. C is C is really good. I mean, that is really good. That that actually makes a difference. We've got B. B was in boy. That's not bad. Certainly not as good as that one, but it's not bad either. Literally comes and goes with my breath. If I'm talking, if I'm exhaling, I get it here and then it clears. It's good. It's quite good. It's not as good as that last one. All right, our last one is A. Let's see how A does. A is pretty darn good too. I get fogging. It's less of a crescent than a one-third versus two-thirds of clear. But that's not a bad product either. You cannot obviously see what I see looking out of the lens. The left lens in every single one of these pairs is a, think, I think it's a minus two CR39 with a scratch coat alone. No AR, no additional treatments. Now, if I take a nice last deep breath in and out, and I take the pair off, the treated lens clears off very, very quickly while the left uncoated, untreated lens lingers and lingers. Still not clear. Still not clear. And this was universal across all the different products, all the different frames. That one still has moisture on it, or this one cleared off in literally maybe a second. After the mask test, I was a little bit at a loss of what to do next. I mentioned this to my wife who said, oh, I've got one guaranteed taking something out of the oven wearing your glasses, you are going to get some really serious fogging and it's a little dangerous. So I worked my Sunday around a lunchtime video shoot. I tossed that pizza in the oven, waited for 20 minutes, donned each pair of glasses and stuck my head in the oven. And do you know what happened? Nothing! Yes, absolutely nothing happened. So that left me with one last test to try. All right, so obviously what we are about to do is the steam test. Let's try product B here. B is in boy. Well, we certainly get a full fog effect there, no doubt. Let's set that to the side. Let's go with C here. Ooh, hey, C. Man, that is a standout. That is really, really good. Let's try our A product. Okay, that's instant full fog. C is almost clear. F, let's see what F looks like. F looks like, well, like a frosted beer mug. Not great. Let's look at E here. Whoa, yeah, that's a full, full on. And we've got product D here. Let's see. That is also pretty much a full fog situation. B still has a little bit of residual down here in the right-hand corner, but it's cleared. It certainly wasn't great to start. A still lingering a bit. F still pretty much completely fogged up. 
E still pretty much completely fogged up. D get it in front of that maybe. You can see what that looks like. And I must say C won the mask contest as well. And let's give that one more try. I mean, every one of these that I put up in front of here fully fogged over front, back, you could not see through it. It was, like, again, like a frosted beer mug. And then C, I, it's, I, I, I know it's hard for you to see, but I mean, it's actually still clear up here. It's clear in this corner. There is less fogging. It's already clearing off. So, I mean, C, clearly hands down winner across the board here. So after three weeks of trial and error, I ended up with two tests that had results worth sharing with you. So without any further delay, here are the results. In the Just Say No category, we have shaving cream. Sorry, social media, but if anything, it seems to make things a little bit worse. In the good category, I found in no particular order that a basic lens with a factory AR coat works pretty good. The Centro Stile 10 Gel. In the better category, we have two products. We have the OptiFog Cloth and the Clarity Defog It Drop. For the overall winner stand out, wow, this is an amazing best product, we have the Centro Stile Sios No Fog Cloth. Of course, your results may vary. If you're watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're watching us on Facebook, please do give us a like. Feel free to leave a comment and make sure that every lens that you're applying an anti-fog product to comes from Laramie K. I will see you again next week and see if any of our non or anti-fog products works. That sucked.